and it's lovingly executed John theme is just adorable. I mean, just look at those Yon Yoshis. They are just the best things. Holy Mount Emolia, are you kidding me? Mario Kart 7 and number 7? What kind of magic is this? Yeah, we just rehashed the Mario Party 7 segment from Top of the Mario Party games. But honestly, what are you going to do about it? These games have some of the most interesting legendary Pokemon we've had before. Personally, I picked up Y because I'm right in the head. Mega Evolutions were introduced as a new gimmick, and personally, I think, I think all Pokemon fans can agree they've been the best addition to be introduced. Fuck Z moves. Making it in the top three, we have Super Mario 3D Land. P.S. Guys, if you don't know how I already feel about this, you will soon. Shh. Here we go again, another Zelda for a handheld, and surprise, this pretty much might be the best Zelda released on a handheld. Making a sequel to a highly influential and beloved video game is always a difficult task, but a link between worlds smashed it just, just like how I want to smash towards stupid little head. <laughs> With that being said, we've been Tom and Matt. <laughs> Forgetting a star rank on all Nitro Cups, you unlock Baby Daisy. In my previous videos, I've had people asking me about how the star rankings work in this game. And even though I explained it quite well in the previous video, I'll explain it again one more time. You can either just get a star ranking on every Mirror Cup like I've just said, or you can race 50, 50 times and have a Super Mario Galaxy save file. And guys, the crazy thing about this is that this actually also works on an emulator. If you do this or that method on Dolphin Emulator, you still unlock goals in there which I just find incredible honestly. Now besides playing on 16 different courses and time trials, you can also race 250 times online. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but the option is there. It's bad enough that this track is difficult, but the fact that CPUs are practically invincible and can just drive through the forms, as if they aren't there just doesn't help. The track is infuriating as hell to play, but there are 9 others that are just as bad. No one really likes that in the desert tracks, they are really boring and are pretty dry. No pun intended. Now if you thought Dry the Desert was bland, then you've seen nothing yet. Yoshi 4 is literally just an oval with a swollen testicle at the side to give it some character. It never does a track. Whoopee! The only gimmick is this track has is that it's split into two parts for most of the track. Whoa. It's, it's not like there's like 15 other tracks in my car here that have the exact same feature. Some of you may be wondering why I placed Donut Plains 3 on the list. It's especially so high up in the top 3. Well here's the thing. This track is fucking awful. Have you ever wanted to play on a track that is just constantly shaking so that you get dizzy and or a headache? You did? Well then Solan is the track for you. I mean, it just looks so dull. And, and, and I could have easily made the track in a fucking game development class. There's nothing happening here. Tsunuki Suit says what? This one's simple. Boomerang. Repeller life. Flying through the air. I don't know what I'm doing, just please subscribe. Ah yes, the special worlds. Do I need to say more? Well yes, because they are amazing, okay? Okay? Just play them. Next is Luigi, and this is by far the dumbest unlock method I have ever seen in any video game ever. In order to unlock Luigi, you, you, you need to go to Adventure Mode and complete Stage 1 Mushroom Kingdom, but you need to finish the stage with a 2 in the seconds column. Once you've done that, um, Luigi will then replace Mario in the next fight, and then you have to um, defeat both Luigi and Peach in less than a minute, and then complete the rest of the mode. My strategy here is to select jungle chips and come up against a level 9 Ness because Ness will just kill himself within about 3 seconds. Next up we have Daisy. This is a generalised opinion in the fandom. Daisy not being released in the base game is a huge what the fuck. I can already hear the haters with their pitchforks and torches. However, I strongly dislike Mad Monster Mansion. Also, entering into Clankers, wait, reword, Matt, reword. So many other jiggies on this are fun to collect. Bashing the turtles flippers is oddly satisfying. <laughs> and when you do this, the sequence challenge inside the turtle is fun. However, the second time base jiggy is such a fucking bitch and I hate it. And diving into wicked snowmen that laugh in your face throughout the level. Hello, Cooper, how are you doing today? Yeah, I don't really care, bro. Sorry, sorry, bro. It, it, it's nothing against you, mate. Well, but... Meow. Meow. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of, kind of stupid. Yes, well, the Mario. There we go. 
little mistake at the start there. But appear in this, and we get our fourth star, which I mean, after a very brief stay. It was all. Quartes or quarte, I don't know. What's for in Spanish? I, like, I, ne I never learned Spanish. I don't know what quarter it is. No. This is fucking terrifying, you know. Can I avoid these coins? Oh! Video games over the years have had their ups and downs, and in today's video, we're going to compare video games roughly a decade apart. So hey guys, Matt from Nintendo Extremist, and welcome to my new series where I will, like the intro said, look at game franchises with a 10 years age gap between one another. For the first ever episode of 10 years apart, we have Zelda. The games we are comparing today are Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Phantom Hourglass, and Breath of the Wild. And before you say, There isn't a decade age gap between those games. I told you it was rough, which is something we can't complain about. This title is for the DS, and considering I think it's pretty amazing and overlooked, in all honesty, hidden gem question mark. So, it's been a while, huh? How have you guys been? I think it's time to bring you guys some contents. I mean, yeah, it's a simple video to make, but it's the last one in the Mario Kart series, so I can move on to other games. Wiggler, you have to win the Leaf Cup on 150cc. The Lacquer 2, you need to win the Lightning Cup on 150cc. Yeah. 150cc is pretty important in this game, to say the least. Something doesn't smell right, what the hell? Squirrel, did I forget to feed you? Oh, oh well. Rest in peace, buddy. What is this? Oh, well, this didn't age well, shit. I want you to think about Super Mario 3D World. Now I want you to think about Kirby's Epic Yarn. And now I want you to just, just match those games together. You should now be thinking of Yoshi's Woody World. If you haven't played it yet, what are you waiting for? Go play it. Best of all, look at this Mario costume. If you're a long time subscriber, then you probably know that I have a love-hate relationship with the Nintendo 64. Back when we started this channel, I definitely hated it more than loved it. But as time has passed, I've grown to have a more neutral view and perspective of it. I still don't like it. Let's get the obvious thing out of the way here. The controller sucks. Like, what the hell is this? And then what did Nintendo Phillips produce? The CGI. Which is just the best console of all time. And also, cartridges, they were also more expensive to produce. Which is another reason why third parties developers told, basically told Nintendo to go and fuck themselves. And they also didn't make Metro 64 or Earthbound 64. Like, like they promised they would do in that one Nintendo Power copy. Which is all than me and my combined, but whatever, I'm so sad about that. And instead of those games, we got Super Mario 64, which is by far the worst video game of all time. And it's also why Marvel are better than DC. Argue with you now about that. First off, let's talk about um, this dude's hair. It is already better than my hair. 
And no, you did not get to see my hair. Um, and second of all, hello, it is Matt from Nintendo Extremist here, and today we are doing our first episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Tussled Crop. They went with the typical anime puff. What's the word? Anime puff. Anime. Anapomorphic. Two legs. <laughs> This is sad. Now, I've, it's never really like settled into a sight. All these Pokemon are looking at me with their hopes and dreams, ready for me to crush two of their dreams because I picked one of their friends. God, I look like someone you'd want to give an absolute fucking wedgie. Well, that's not the Pokeball he gave me, is it? I mean, like the way to make the perfect choice for you. Guys, I'm probably just going to skip over this fucking battle because I, I hate this shit. You shall burn! 19, shift in Sunland. Holy crap, does this stage suck. Now, I always get that dread of having to play this stage. That may have something to do with the difficulty. If you complete the side in less than 21 seconds, you get another star, along with the one that's waiting for you. Talk about creativity. 10. Tall Tall Mountain Again, this name doesn't lie. This really is a tall, tall mountain. I flew the Wiggler's house before beating him to a pulp. Again, proving how nice of a guy Mario actually is. And let me tell you, there's nothing more satisfying than Mario say. So long, give Bowser, as you defeat Bowser for the third time and complete the game. The name of places such as SSD, Speedway, Ray Trace, Ruins, Mount Motherboard, Deep Data Space. Overall, the puns are just great. The game is free. Or even with fun, using a claw machine to help 100% your labo. This isn't hard either and looks like this when done. You can also commit mass murder with the ball gun. <laughs> Minecraft 64 also introduced slip streaming, or rubber banding as it's most commonly known. This is where the CPU is always maintaining the same speed no matter what happens in a race. Whether you get a mushroom or a star and gain more speed, or get hit by an item, the CPU will always be right on your tail. Now, this can be annoying if you're trying to beat the game, but in comparison to the bullshit that can happen with items nowadays, it's actually not that bad. Minecraft 64 re received genuinely positive reviews from critics, and proved to be an overall commercial success. If you aggregate a Metacritic ranks it as the 6th highest ranked N64 title, based on 15 different reviews. It has sold 9.87 million copies worldwide, making it the second best selling game on the console. In fact, most reviews websites actually rank this game pretty highly, except GameSpot, who only give it a 6 out of 10. I guess they wanted to be different, I don't know. At the time, Michael Wee had the biggest and most diverse roster in the series. The custom bikes were also pretty special, as were, as were different ones for each weight class, and some character and vehicle combos worked better than others. For example, Funky Kong and the Flame Runner. What else needs to be said? Another mocking gimmick was the Wii Wheel. Being on the Wii, My Cart Wii obviously allowed for most controls, and introducing the Wii Wheel for this game was a great marketing idea by Nintendo. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has seen that cutscene of Mario and Luigi racing with, with the Wii Wheels before after being teleported into the game. Since Mario Kart DS, it was very common to get spam of items, in particular the blue and the red shells. However, Mario Kart Wii decided to go from 0 to 100, as it's very common to get hit by all sorts of shit. Mario Kart 7 introduced gliding, driving underwater, and vehicle customization, as well as bringing my coins from, from SMK and Super Circuit. Mario Kart 8 did this too, but went the extra mile and made the coin an item. Yeah. This time, you need to decide which character and vehicle combos suit you the best. Now, even though I've literally just said all of that, it seems people have finally found the best character and vehicle combo in this game. Move aside from Funky Kong and Flame Runner, make way for Waluigi in the regular bike, using roller wheels and any glider of your choosing. Remember how I said that the iron balance was getting worse in Mario Kart Wii? Well, now it's completely gone to shit. Since every player has two items, it's not uncommon to get hit by two red shells in a row. Or get a lot of mushrooms if you're near the back. Oh, no! Here we go! 